relax your shoulders, Andrew. Good. Light. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, just like that, one more. Perfect. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we got Anders in the office. We're gonna give him a full spine adjustment. He's been in several times. It's it's toward probably the end of his acute phase of care. We're gonna transition him from more acute um, a phase to more of a maintenance here soon. But he was originally coming in for low back, hip, a little bit of everything, right? Neck. Uh -huh. What else? Is that, is that was that what your original the original things you coming in for? Yeah, lo lower back was getting pretty angry. Go ahead. Uh, that so work. I'm gonna give him his full spine adjustment. He's getting some vertigo, which your cervical adjustments can really help with vertigo. So we'll talk about that when we adjust his neck. But let's start with some traction here in his low back. All right, just a good stretch for his hips, for his SI joints, for the lumbar vertebrae. Especially people who sit for a living, that compresses things. It compresses your lumbar joints. Um, so a flexion distraction technique, technique like this is really good for low back pain, for hip pain, for sciatic pain. Don't just mask the symptoms, come in, get adjusted, get checked, get to the root cause of the problem. That's what we preach, that's the key. Be preventative, be proactive with your body, be proactive with your health. You okay, Anders? Yeah, buddy. Taking him side to side. So in this case, his right leg, his right SI joint, his right hip was bothering him. So we're gonna bring it down and to the left and really get a good stretch of that right SI joint. Okay, Anders, we'll stop that. Now we're not doing every, so for the purpose of the video, we're keeping to the adjustments. We obviously do soft tissue and other things, stretching that we're not showing all of, but we will show a little bit of soft tissue work in his right lower back area. So people that are getting a lot of low back pain, this QL muscle can go into spasm, which goes all the way up into your mid back and sort of runs down and, and attaches to the iliac crest. So. In addition to your adjustments, a little extra soft tissue work works wonders for the low back. So it's gonna help you hold your adjustments longer. It's gonna help you get out of pain quicker, faster. And that's the goal for all our patients, to get them out of pain, to get them back living their normal, healthy lives. Do a little drop table work for Anders here. And just this alone probably be good enough. Okay. Put them on a side too. But So he said he was, he was getting some vertigo. So, you know, we've been through this other videos, chiropractic adjustments, cervical chiropractic care. We've seen great results with vertigo, with dizziness, with TMJ, with headaches, with things that you we, we wouldn't normally associate with, with your neck being misaligned, but have direct correlation. So um, a lot of vertigo is cervicogenic. It's coming from the neck actually. So. The neck adjustment really helps. Sinus problems too, all that stuff. We'll do some work in addition, but it's mainly the cervical adjustment that gets to the root cause of those problems. So for instance, him, he has a really, you know, significant C1, C2 restriction. Just relax your shoulders, Andrew. Good, and this one over here, nice and light. Perfect. 
was one of the best neck adjustments in a while. Okay, I'm gonna give him one more in his mid back and then for the most part, you're gonna be done. Deep breath, exhale, come on back on my hand. Oh, you what? Yeah. And uh, just like that, one more. Perfect. Come on up, shoulders. Swing your feet towards the wall. So like I said, he's been he's been through his, his his acute phase of care, so he's been you know adjusted several times, and he's doing really well with it. Jar, relax. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Anders. Thanks. All right.